Oh, I see. Okay, we're live, I think. Can any anyone hear me? I'll just wait and see if a few any more gather. Can anyone actually hear me? Can you confirm my audio works, please? Okay, thank you. I can't read your name, but I have the yes. So it's only you and me. <laughs> um, so where are you from? Oh, okay. So it's getting late in the day for you. Well, this is lunchtime, and I thought I'd spend a little time today um, just to explain how you can um, you can actually control your ESP thirty eight two six sixes from uh, ESP Rainmaker, and um, although not directly, you see the problem is. I don't know if you have many of these as well, but I have a whole bunch of ESP8266 and ESP8285 devices that I've been have all over the house doing various things, uh, including, you know, a gate controller, um, various uh, different things like. Uh, my ESP8266 uh, controllers uh, for lighting um, as well as controlling uh, well outdoor lights indoor LED lights and all kinds of stuff and my problem um, is I would really like to have them all together on the one app like um, well we can do it with Arduino too um, it doesn't make much difference. I'll uh, I'll sort that out in a minute. But um, I'd like to have everything all together on one device, um, my on my phone. So I decided to use ESP Rainmaker. But of course, the problem is that ESP Rainmaker doesn't run on ESP32 uh, on ESP8266. It's only for ESP32. But there's a solution to that, and the solution is to use a local MQTT broker. Are you familiar with uh, MQTT? I haven't got Arduino 2.0 on this um, on this machine, but I do use it on my laptop. 